Hey, what's up guys? Quick vlog here today. I'm wearing this. It's a gift from my girlfriend. Anyways, um, I was talking to some people over Facebook, responding to posts that I made. And um, one gentleman was talking about how much he wants to be his own boss, but he feels like he's tied up by his own demons. And that's a situation I can definitely empathize with. I've was tied up by my own demons for years. I'm still tied up by a lot of my own demons. It's a constant battle. It's not something you're just gonna get rid of. And I've been talking about this this past week. You have got to study yourself to actually figure out what those demons are. Because if we sit here and we say that they're demons, if we sit here and we say, something's holding me back, I've got demons inside, and we don't specify exactly what those demons are, we really don't know what we're fighting. And if you don't know what you're fighting and you can't identify the enemy, then you can't fight it. You can't do anything to fix it. So the biggest goal for those of you right now who feel like you're being held back by something inside is to get to know yourself, to get to know and understand what's going on inside of you that is holding you back. And um, really great book you need to read is Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. Now this is not a get rich scheme book. He kind of laid the seed for a lot of the people you see today like Tony Robbins and like even like Ty Lopez. But the book is nothing like that. It's really a philosophy. He kind of goes through everything you need to start doing, the self practices you need to instill to start understanding yourself. And that involves really analyzing your own fears. And I talked earlier this week about your fears. You know, we have fears of poverty, fears of criticism, fears of old age, fears of death, and um, uh, fears of losing our sexual partner or lover. And what's the last one? Old age, poverty, death, oh, fear of disease. And so each of those fears is tied up in something that holds us back. So when we say we have demons, what we're really saying is we have one of those six fears or a fear that's related or categorized underneath one of those six fears. So a lot of times we have fears of criticism, fears that if we step out into the world, nobody's gonna understand us. And I hear from a lot of you and I have the same thing where I don't like even going out in public sometimes because I don't like dealing with people. And I talked about this yesterday. I don't like dealing with people, so I'm very unfriendly to people. And because I'm very unfriendly to people, it comes back to me that way. And people are very unfriendly to me. So one of the things I need to work on is my own approach to people, my own uh, bearing as I go out into the world. Am I able to carry myself as an individual who is approachable, who attracts people rather than repelling them? And if you want to be a business owner, if you want to establish yourself as somebody who people want in charge of them, you have to attract people. You can't just rule by fear. You can't automatically rule by fear. You're not going to rule at all because nobody's going to want to be around you. So you really need to work on yourself, make sure you're approachable, make sure that you're understanding the laws of attraction. People run away from pain and they seek pleasure. People seek people that make them feel good. So compliments go a long way. Um, you know, allowing yourself to see what every person around you is good at, right? When you had a team, when you're either in the Marine Corps or any other service, when you were in charge of people, you knew what each person you were dealing with was good at. So you put each of them in situations where they could excel. And so when you come in contact with new people, you really have to try to see the good at them in them and maybe start a conversation about that. But the bottom line is this, it comes down to understanding those fears. And once you understand those fears, you understand that most fears are figments of your imagination. The fear of criticism, you can't control other people like you or not. The fear of death, you're gonna die anyways. The fear of uh, disease and old age, 
well, think about this. You have a limited time on this earth, right? You can either fear old age and tell yourself that you can't do certain things because you're getting older, or you can do more things and allow yourself to grow old and wiser, right? Use your experience. And knowing that you have a limited time on this earth and you're gonna be older, you might as well make the best of it while you're here because this isn't gonna happen again. You gotta just go out and do the things you wanna do. Um, the fear of disease, well, most people bring disease on themselves through negative thoughts, right? When people have negative thoughts, a lot of times that can lead to cancer because of depression. Depressed people are scientifically founded to get more disease than others. Um, fear of lost love, well, if somebody is not meant to be with you, then somebody is not meant to be with you. But again, if you're having negative thoughts, nobody's gonna wanna be with you anyways, right? So each one of these fears really should not matter and it should not have an impact on you because it's something you're generating in your own mind that's just holding you back and making your miser yourself miserable while you're here. So just get out and do it. Get out and do what you want to do, all right? I'm gonna go PT, I love you all, peace.